definitely, um, I've known Josie, well, talked to Josie for about a year. And oh. she invited me to the group a few weeks ago because I had to cancel my live because my sugar was 325. And there, I couldn't even focus on anything. So I had to cancel it. And she sent me an invite to the Facebook group. And I said to her, I said, I've got to do something because I haven't ate sugar, sugar. I did have a sugar in my coffee every morning. That's it for three years. I don't eat sweets. I don't eat junk food. I don't eat chips. You know, I gave all of that up a long time ago, but my sugar is still running 180, 190, um, and then skyrocketing to 325. When, so then when I talked to Josie and she's like, no, just, you know, go in the group, read the videos, watch the videos, you know, read the posts, stuff like that. And then Jovi reached out. So I've been doing like stuff from the group, from the Facebook page. And I can honestly say I had Thanksgiving dinner yesterday because we celebrated yesterday. And with everything, the highest my sugar was, was 157. Okay. So I've gone down to, um, I have less than 20 grams of carbs per day. That's for the full day and okay. zero sugars. I've even bought the monk fruit sweetener mm -hmm. for my coffee. Okay. And I got the, they call it, it's like, it's coconut and almond milk for my creamer instead of milk. Perfect. Okay. Uh, it, it's just going to, and you just started this, uh, how long ago? About three, about three weeks. Okay. So you didn't get it into this position in three weeks and you're not going to get out of it in three weeks. So right. the good <laughs> news is that you'll be able to get out of it a lot quicker than you got into it. Okay. Right. So, um, yeah, it sounds like you're on the right track with everything. Can you give me a, in the last, um, two months ago, what, what a typical meal would be for you two months ago? Uh, a typical meal would be whichever meat I cooked, chicken, pork, beef. Um, it'd be a regular portion. So three to four ounces. My biggest thing was pasta. Mm. Um, I have an autistic daughter and that's all she eats. <laughs> That is all she eats is pasta. So, you know, I would, I got to the point where I didn't have enough money to separate meals. You know, I couldn't cook her a full meal of pasta and then me a full meal of everything else and then have it go to waste or again, the anxiety <laughs> of trying to figure out where it was all going to come from. So I would just eat a bowl of pasta, but it was only one helping, you know, I wasn't over indulging but yeah that was it was nuts and I had lost I'd gone down in 2018 I had lost 86 pounds wow and I was walking three miles a day and then I battled about a depression and went to the hospital with that's when they diagnosed the liver disease and just the depression I've gained almost 50 of it back <laughs> can I ask you a personal question sure um how's your alcohol intake I don't drink at all really okay none I haven't touched a drink since well before my daughter got married in 2018 so like 2016 so and you pretty much know that I mean you made reference that um, you haven't had sugar, sugar for quite some time. So you know the difference between sugar and refined carbohydrates. Yes. <laughs> okay. So the pasta, you know, refined carbohydrate. So yes. <clears throat> now you're off of that. So it sounds like you're like one of our other members in the group. It's not the diet. It's the stress and stress causes type two diabetes because it keeps releasing um, glucose from your fat cells. Mm. So we that I think that's where we need to start the same as her. And we need to start with the stress. We need to get that under control. 